leaps and bounds. They go high, I go low. They go low, I go high. Dogs and cats. And a big man goes back to school. Sort of. Today on NFL Films presents... Yeah, I'm excited. Get to play uh, Najee Harris. I know. Stiff arm. Yeah. That's his favorite thing to do. Yeah, is don't that get stiff, stiff arm, arm, then you're going to get embarrassed. He took that arm, hammered away a defender. It didn't take long for second year stealer Najee Harris to become one of the most feared running backs in the league. A good job by Najee Harris of saying no. The hell? It's a gang tackle. Stop. 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 Especially for a running back, like it's more of instincts. You know, I mean, I'm a bigger guy. I'm more of a target in my legs. He loves to do that. Najee Harris, hurdling. <laughs> oh, just throws Wilson. Wow, that's a big boy play right there. They go high, I go low. If they go low, I go high. You know what I mean? Michelle, I go Obama. Michelle Obama. Hey, bro, I mess with you. You cool. Michelle, you got yeah, That's a great I mess with you, bro. You got some How amazing is that? Leaping over defenders comes easy for someone who faced tougher hurdles growing up. Tell everyone that doesn't know what grip is and why it's so important. Yeah, to so you. grip is a homeless shelter in Richmond, California that I stay at. You know, I stayed there for a couple years, me and my family, and like in the in a room. You know, in a small room. So you were there with your four siblings at the time, but yeah. then in total you have eleven. Mm -hmm. And how long were you there? We stayed there to the maximum time you can until we found something else. So from being homeless to, how many places have you lived? Can you, can lived? you even like remember all the places? Over 20, probably. Over 20? Yeah, I never lived in the same spot more than like two years. You know, my mom was probably the strongest person to me. She always proceeded through and then tried to find a way to put a roof over our head. Yep. To keep him safe, Najee's parents kept him busy. The reason why I started playing football is because I was getting in trouble so much. Mm -hmm. My mom and dad were like, you got too much time in hand. Like you need a, something like to keep you out of trouble. Yeah. So like they put me in football. Why would you act out? You Did know, you, is yeah. that what you saw around you? So you thought this is normal? Exactly. Okay. Yeah. I mean, me not the age. I, I I didn't know that that's what I was doing. But I guess that was a way of uh, showing, of uh, releasing my anger, frustration. That's yeah. why football helps me a lot. It's a way I could release it. Najee had found his escape and would go to it no matter what time it was. And your high school football coach, John. Who should go? Yeah. He'd be driving past the high school, it's nine or 10 at night, and you would be out there running? Exactly, yeah. So why was it so important for you to do that extra work? I made a decision that like, okay, I wanna take this football stuff seriously. How'd you know what to do? Like you just had your own training program? So I would go on YouTube, right? Stop. <laughs> and I like looked up some of my favorite players, like Adrian Peterson, Barry Sanders, and I would just see like, from looking at their highlights, so like I would just take some of that and I like write it down on, on like my notes or some of my piece of paper, and I'll try to like acclimate it into my, my workout. So I got really cool with the janitors, and they would just cut on the lights for me. And they'd be like, what's up, now you want to come to the lights for you? So they would cut on the lights Angel. at night. And then, you know, he'll see me there and stuff. That's but, yeah. amazing. And it was a way of letting out, you know, frustration and sure. stuff. And, I mean, it's therapeutic to train in a way. The training paid off, rushing for over 2,700 yards in both his junior and senior seasons. By the time, you know, high school's done, you're the number one yeah, high school fast forward. Yeah, that was crazy. Like, that was, I didn't expect that at all. Why Alabama versus some of the other options that you had? What attracted me most was the competition level. You know, they bring it in, like I was the number one crew, they brought in a lot of me in there. You know yeah. what I mean? Like number one linebacker, number one safety, mm -hmm. number one everything. Competition is very important to me. I feel like, you know, if you want to be best at what you do, you know, you got to go against the best. So every day in practice was the best at Alabama, literally. After sitting behind the likes of Damian Harris and Josh Jacobs, Najee burst onto the scene his junior year. Najee Harris gets away, down the sideline, up and over. Harris returned for his senior season and won a national championship. But he's proudest about what he did off the field during his time in Tuscaloosa. You win two national championships and you set the rushing record at the University of Alabama. What do you take away as your biggest accomplishment there? It was the social justice. We, we did a march. You know, I'm not really like a person to speak up, stuff like that. So, man, I was one of the speakers there at the march. You know what I mean? So I was like speaking in front of all these big crowd of people. 
you know, for me to go in there, you know, I feel like that's one of the best things I accomplished. That's awesome. School. Yeah. I love that. That's very special to be able to leave a university like that with all the accolades, but yeah. that your greatest accomplishment is something that has nothing, nothing to do, do with football. With football. When it came to the most important day of his NFL career, Najee again wasn't thinking of himself. Going in the first round, you still chose not to go to the draft. It was important for yeah. you to be somewhere else. Where was that? The Bay Area, <laughs> where I'm from, you know what I mean? Um, I always represent in some sort of way in my party. That grip in Richmond, for me, be there in person, they really see me mm -hmm. um, on the street at Grip, you know what I mean? Anywhere, these little places that I lived in, you know, for me to them see me in the flesh, I feel like that gives off even more of a stronger message. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They don't gotta look at it on TV. They can see like, they can come up here and ask me. You know what I mean? Cause I'm, I'm always around them in a way. So to, the, to these kids, I always tell them like, you know, there is light at the end of the tunnel. Usually the role model, Harris was the one awestruck when he joined the Steelers. How did you feel when you first put on that uniform? It's crazy, man. It's, it's surreal because I, especially seeing like some of these players and Mike T, of course, too. Yeah. On TV when I was young and me coming here and um and playing with him, you know, what I mean, it's almost like a, it's a dream come true in a way. We play a lot of prime time, just like Bama. Bama play a lot of. I, I watched you play a lot last year on Saturday night. Most rookies are worried about making an impact on the team. Harris was busy making an impact back at the Grip Homeless Shelter. With his mom in California, the two coordinated and upgraded where they once lived. It was important for me to go back in and try to like improve some of the stuff, you know what I mean? Some of the stuff was still the same from when I went there. Like the floors was out of date, the walls, the playground, cafeteria, you know what I mean? Everything, like it was all. Nothing had changed. Yeah, nothing has changed. All this while breaking the Steelers' rookie records for most rushing yards and yards from scrimmage. He's on his way. How about Najee Harris? Najee, do what Najee does with that great talent he got on loan from God. Then fires a bullet. Pulled in by Najee. Gets out of the tackle. Wow, did he make a great play. That was a play. That right there is Najee Harris playing ball right there. The legends that have played here before, one of those guys, Franco Harris, you broke his rookie rushing record. What did it mean for you to come in here in year one and make that kind of an impact? Not to be cocky or nothing no, like no, that, no, no, but no. it's like but everywhere I went, I always broke like their records somehow, some way. Okay, like what's next? You know what I mean? So like what's next is like I gotta try to bring one a Super Bowl here. I mean if I do that, then like then I'll be like, oh man, like winning a Super Bowl would leave Najee Harris's mark on the game and the game helps Najee leave his mark where it's needed most. What does football mean to you? Man, football means a lot to me because, you know, it got me where I'm at today. It helps me help my family out. It helped me get to where I'm at, but, you know, I feel like an individual, there's so much that can that one individual could give to the world than just sports. Yeah. You know I mean? Sports is just a, a good platform for me to, to talk to you guys now. At the end of the day, you know, God isn't gonna care about what I've done in the football world. What he's gonna care about is what he done to help the people. And I think that's who I am, helping people out.